to run the same type of program formats, but more efficient, better chip control, more unattended running, and again, at a fair price point, this is the direction we need to go in the United States, North America, to be more efficient. There are so many benefits to horizontal machining sensors, Bernie. Now, for those people who are just a VMC-only shop, what can you say about generally why they should consider a horizontal machine? Well, thank you. Um, very simple reason is to get more efficient uh, instead of running a vertical standalone, is to run something that will allow you to run a little bit more unattended by going to a small compact pallet machine such as uh, this machine here, and a little 12 inch. it's pretty compact this, it's yeah, a this small is actually, size. It's, 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 it's 320 millimeter pallet, 12 inches. But the benefit here is we take the same vices, the same work holding as we do on most of the verticals and we just put it into tombstone. So you're doing the exact same work you do in a vertical, but now you have the benefits of having a horizontal, so when it's in the machine, you have better chip control. And when you have better chip control, you can get more aggressive cutting and get the cycle times down. Absolutely. The other benefit here is that this is a pallet changer machine. So if we go around the inside, yes. you can see obviously on the other side is the horizontal spindle. Yes. And we've got another tombstone here with two components on instead. Correct, so again, while the other pallet on the outside is being unloaded and other parts being put in, the customer is running the machine efficiently inside here. It's a full fourth axis, so he can run multiple parts of its sides. So just like a vertical, but much more efficient, compact, better chip control. At the end of the day, it will make you more money with less people involved. Absolutely, but some might say, with a horizontal machine like this, you want it to have a big capacity so you can fit the big components on and fit the big sets of tombstones. It looks like quite a small capacity, this MH320. Yes. Would someone really need a, a, like to get a horizontal this small? Well, again, the, the idea is that we have larger horizontals. This smaller horizontal is really targeted for our North American market to be more efficient. Again, take all those jobs you did for years on your verticals and apply them to a small, compact horizontal to run the same type of program formats, but more efficient, better chip control, more unattended running, and again, at a fair price point, this is the direction we need to go in the United States, North America, to be more efficient. Absolutely, even though even though you are, you have to think a bit more about your work holding, but how you set up on a tombstone, it might be a new piece of work holding you've not really thought about before compared to yep. your standard machine vice, yep. but as soon as you think about better work holding, yep. you can automate that and make so much more, uh, make Absolutely. so many more components in one go. Yes, you can use traditional vices, but there's a lot of good off-the-shelf uh, componentry that bolts on, that's modular, that fit many different sizes, yeah. absolutely great. And sticking more components on that pallet increases your overall cycle time, and you can run it for longer unattended. Correct, that is correct. But there is always a limit to how much you can do with two pallets. What if you want to increase that capacity and that's those, that overall cycle time? Funny you mention that. So <laughs> we do have a machine right next door. It's uh, our Kiwa model. It's a more popular 400 millimeter horizontal size, which in the market. So this, as you can see, jumps up to a 16-inch pallet with which an option to go to 20-inch 20 20, uh, pallet. So this machine has a variety of different work holdings that you can see, orientation points. And this particular model is not only available as a two-pallet, but is also available in a multi-pallet that can be done as a kit in the field. That's one of the unique features of our Kiwa machine, is that you can start with a two-pallet, get your feet wet, buy a couple extra pallets, but this is really where the job shops need to go. Run unattended, quick changeovers between parts, and very easy for the operators to run the machines. Absolutely, because it might be a big jump to go from just vertical machines to horizontal and four extra pallets. You think, well, I don't know how, how I'm going to start work holding stuff. That's the first problem to solve, is how to actually do horizontal machining yes. properly. Yep. The next problem to solve is how do I fit and schedule loads of different kinds of jobs on those pallets. So there's kind of two problems there to take uh, to, to overcome. With the keyword, you can do one problem, then the next problem in, in, in succession. Yes, and we can grow with you. So you can buy the asset as a two pallet with X amount of tools, and then you know add the pallet changer when it's comfortable for you or up front, and we can actually double the number of tools from 120 to 240 in the field in about two days. That's huge, so you don't have to buy another asset to do the job. Yeah. So it's Perfect. great. Perfect, and that, the extra tooling is so important when you've got different kinds of jobs. multi -pallets. Big components, system tooling, different materials. Yes. Really, really needed, but even with a six or eight pallets and did you say 240 tools? Yes. There are some components, even though you can access other sides, yep. there are some components where customers will say, look, Bernie, I need a five axis machine. These, my components just will not work with four axis. Yes. What do you say then? Well, again, uh, for our customers, <laughs> we said, absolutely. So we have an example of one over here at the OKK. It's a uh, VCX 350. 
So it's a 12 inch rotary table. And there's a and beautiful a uh, component oh, here. Yes, the absolutely. beautiful demonstration is a, an impeller. Uh, and this is full five axis that programmed in Mastercam. Yes. And the, uh, the finishes on this are absolutely gorgeous. But with Benny, we're, we're talking horizontal. This, this is a five axis vertical, right? Well, because my eyes don't deceive me. Well, as you said, again, a lot of customers, the buzzword for many years now is five axis. And again, this will be one of the staging. We have several here, but OKK offers the best of both worlds. So let's start working this way. So let's find the best of both worlds. As I said, unless, unless the world's gone topsy-turvy, that's not a vertical, that's a, horizontal, that's a vertical machine tool. Yes. We've got a horizontal over here, so, right? And look at the inside of this. What have we got? So over here is, again, best of both worlds. This is a horizontal five-axis machine by OKK. So this is a 24-inch pallet machine, Cat 50 taper, 12,000 RPM. And again, the beauty of this machine is this is typically a horizontal people would normally see, but we have a five-axis well, version. Let's get up here and have a quick let's look. Do it. So on this machine here, we have a trunnion support. So basically 24 inches pallet size. And again, the machine could do all the rugged cutting of a horizontal, better chip management control, but now have the benefits of a five-axis for getting all those other locations. And oh, by the way, it's a pallet changer machine. So now you have a horizontal pallet machine with five axes. So I think we kind of have your dream machine here. Dream machine, so the, all the benefits of a horizontal pallet change, which you don't see very often with a five axis style machine. Uh, you've got compact, you've got field upgradable, you've got five axis. Correct. Uh, for all your horizontal machining needs, you can't look much further than Methods Machine Tools. Uh, we try to cover everything as best we can for all the North American markets. And again, it's our job is to help the customer through the process to pick which asset's good for them now and what's gonna be good for them in the future. That's why I love being here.